guys, welcome to Furnishing Standards. My name is Alex and in today's video we're going to be assembling the coaster, item number 300-621, Eastern King Bed. This is a gray fabric headboard with footboard and rails. It also comes with slots. If you guys like what you see, if you guys are interested in more, go ahead and subscribe, like the video. If you guys have any questions, leave any comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Hey guys. So now that we have everything out of the box, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's inside. You have a good idea. You can see all the rails, slats, the legs, and all the hardware. Also the instructions are included, some brackets. So I'll go ahead and grab the camera right now and give you a good look at what's inside. Hey guys, so now that we know what's inside the boxes, we're going to go ahead and assemble the headboard and the footboard. The footboard will just require some legs. The headboard will be a little bit more work, so you will need two of the pieces here, some hardware. I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and show you how it's done, and we'll go step by step here. So for right now, let's get all the items we don't need out of the way, and let's start with the headboard. Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and assemble the headboard. You're going to need a few pieces. I'll go ahead and show you the pieces that we need. First piece will be this taper in here. Um, there is an L shape or an L to this for meaning it will be the left hand side. It is tapered so I'll go ahead and show you that. The next piece will be the right hand side headboard. This will also be labeled. There will be an R right here. The bed does come with instructions. I'll go ahead and try to link the link below. Um, if you did not get the instructions, I'll make a copy for you guys. They're very good to say the least, but you'll get an idea more or less. Or if not, continue watching. Okay guys, for this step, we're going to go ahead and grab the headboard. We're going to lay it flat on the floor. We're going to unzip it again so we have access to the back of the headboard. And um, we'll go ahead and add the screws. The screws we'll be using and the toe will be an Allen wrench key. And we'll be using this size screw. As you can see, this should work. Uh, you'll be using a total of eight of these. It's going to be four on each side. I'll go ahead and grab the camera, show you a close-up of exactly what I'm doing. Okay, now that we got the headboard open here, I'll go ahead and grab the camera and give you an idea of exactly how to attach this on to the headboard. Okay guys, just want to show you, we'll be installing this piece with the taper facing down. This is going to be the top of the headboard here. So as you can see, there is a uh, there is an entrance there, and down here, as you can see, there's a hole there. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the screw, put it inside here, attach it to the other end, and we'll go ahead and tighten that down. Okay guys, now that we did that side, we're gonna go ahead and copy this side. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna add the screws, go ahead and put them on, go back, tighten them down. And after that, we'll go ahead and put the brackets on. Once again guys, on this side, we're gonna go ahead and put 
This will be the right hand side. We're gonna make sure that this taper end is facing downwards. You can see there will be two holes down here at the bottom and the rest of the holes will be over here. Okay guys, now that we installed both sides to the headboard, we're going to go ahead and zip it up, stand it back up, and we're going to install the brackets. Okay guys, now that we have the headboard up, let's go ahead and install the brackets. Okay guys, the next step, and this is optional, this, these are the brackets. The brackets are here just in case if you just wanted to have the headboard and a metal frame attached to it. These brackets will be used for that purpose. We'll go ahead and attach it. We won't be using them, but if you're just planning to use it with um, a metal frame and you just bought the headboard only, that would be an option. I'll still go ahead and show you how to assemble this. We will not be using them for our bed assembly. However, I will go ahead and attach them. Okay guys, as you can see, we have the bracket here. We have two holes here. This is gonna say R. This is gonna say R. We'll go ahead and attach it here. Like I said, this is for, in case you're gonna add just uh, a metal frame. Okay guys, so this is going to be the left hand side, you can see there's an L here, there will be an L right here, we'll go ahead and attach these onto there, just like we did with the first one. Okay guys, now that we have the optional brackets for the frame on, we're going to go ahead and uh, assemble the footboard. This will just require the legs. I'll go ahead and show you how that's done. So this is going to be the footboard, bottom of it. One way you can tell it's the footboard only has one line in the middle, while the rails will have a few other stitching lines. But the bottom of it, you will see there's two holes here, and there will be two holes on this side. Okay guys, so here's the footboard. This is gonna be the leg. As you can see, there's two holes here, two holes here. We're gonna attach this facing downwards. We're gonna be using these screws. And we'll be using the other wrench key. It is we'll go ahead and touch the next one same thing with this one you're gonna have two holes here you're gonna have the leg you're gonna have two holes here this is gonna be facing towards the floor Hey guys, now that we got the feet on the footboard, let's go ahead and attach all the rails. I'll go ahead and grab the camera and give you a close up exactly how it's done. For this, we will be using this screw here and these two pieces here too. We will need the 
wrench to uh, tighten them down. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, now we are on the footboard here. We're gonna go ahead and grab the two bolts here. And we're gonna go ahead and add them. We're gonna do the same for the other side. Okay guys, we're on the other side of the footboard. We're gonna go ahead and add these two bolts on. Now we're gonna add the two bolts to the end of the leg here. You see the two there. Okay, now we're gonna add the final bolts to this end. Okay guys, now that we have all the bolts attached to the footboard and headboards, we're going to go ahead and grab the rails. I'll go ahead and slide everything into place and then we'll go ahead and I'll get you a close up of how to tighten them down. As you can see, as we put the rails, you want to make sure that this bottom piece here that supports the slats is facing downwards. And as you can see, there will be holes here and on the other side where we're going to insert the bolts. Same thing with the right rail. You want to make sure that this piece here that uh, supports the slots there, is facing downwards. Okay, as you can see now, we do have a bed uh, taking form. We'll go ahead and uh, tighten down the bolts. I'll go ahead and grab the camera. Sorry how that's done. Okay guys, now that we're ready to do this. We're gonna go ahead and use this piece here. We're gonna face this towards the circle in, and we're gonna add this piece here behind it. We're gonna use this wrench to tighten it down. Same thing with the bottom. Okay guys, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go ahead and add the bolts. Okay guys, we're gonna do this to the footboard now. We're gonna go ahead and uh, tighten these down.
And we're gonna go ahead and get this last uh, footboard down here. So you got two more bolts. Okay guys, as you can see, we have a fully constructed bed. The only thing left is to add the slats. I'll go ahead and grab one, show you how they look. We'll go ahead and insert the legs. I'll place them on the bed, and then we're gonna go ahead and tie them down with some screws. So these are the slats that we're gonna be applying to the bed. These are gonna sit in here. But before we do that, we're gonna have to add the legs. The legs will be these small little ones right here. What you want to do is there'll be a metal piece on this side. What you want to do is put the leg underneath it so it pulls on this wing bolt and it doesn't detach. So let's go ahead and add all the legs on the slots and we'll go ahead and lay the slots out. Okay guys, as you can see, I already added all the slats. I'll go ahead and grab the camera, show you how it looks in here. We're gonna grab the screw, screw, screw down the slots. Okay guys, to tighten down the screws, you can use a drill gun or you can use a regular Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna opt out with the drill gun today just to get this done. However, if you just have a regular uh, Phillips screwdriver, that will work too. Just make sure you put pressure as you're turning down on the screw. Okay guys, as you can see the bed's now completed. We attached the headboard sides. We installed the rails, the slats, the legs. We also added these brackets on each side. Those are for the, in case you wanted to put a metal frame. This headboard is sold separate, you can add a metal frame. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, like the video. If you have any questions, leave any comments. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions.